So please hang in there with me. I have a hurt arm, but I wanted to break down for you guys exactly the one trade that I took today that led to a $19,000 gain. The first thing that I want to share with you is my name is Ricky. I trade with over half a million dollars. I'm not trading with $5,000 and I made, you know, um, uh, this, this specific return on just $5,000. I don't trade options. I trade shares. And today I shorted this specific stock and I broke it down step by step even before I took the trade. A lot of you guys have heard me talk about my LPP team. You guys know that I possibly trade live every morning. You might not even know that if you haven't watched many of my videos, but I do trade live every morning for about 30 minutes to an hour and a half. But obviously, markets open for much longer than that. So if an opportunity ends up presenting itself later throughout the day, I have this group chat for my LPP team that's called Trade Ideas. And this is only where I post. They're not call outs. They're just so they are aware of what I'm paying attention to. And think about this. The market opens in Arizona at 6.30 a.m. This is at 10.48 so this is to highlight that sometimes you truly need to give the market the time that it needs to paint its picture for the day. You guys know that I've been paying attention to something like coin to short it as it's become a little bit more on the overbought side. A very quick kind of recap. If you don't understand what shorting is, it means that you pretty much make money as the stock loses value. You borrow shares originally and then you buy them back to cover to lock in profits. I had this call out at 1048 and this is essentially before I took the trade coin short first trade setup. Coin is overbought at 260, waiting for confirmation below the EMA. And what I'm explaining is that this is coin. Coin was trading, this is on the five minute time frame, but on the one minute time frame, let me go ahead and zoom out. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so please, your, your patience uh, is much appreciated here. But as you can see, it was trading at highs of 260. It was a very common resistance range, and I saw that it was already testing that as a resistance. When I go back and I look on over here, I shared with them my trade plan because I know that for beginners, right? I don't expect them and I don't want them to copy my trade. My thing is I know for someone that's trying to learn how to do something, it's important for them to understand why someone else sees value in something. Where do they plan to enter? Where do they plan to exit? And, and why is it that they see value in this trade opportunity? And that is exactly what I share within my trade plan. I don't need others to agree with me. And I've been wrong many other times before. But all it needs to do is it needs to make sense and the risk to reward ratios to be in my favor. So again, I talked about coin being overbought at 260 waiting for confirmation. We'll open short. Um, will open short with a price target of 255, meaning that I intended to cover my profits right around 255 based off of previous support levels. That's all I was looking at, previous resistance levels, previous support levels, right around that 255. So again, 260 to 255, I had about $5 per share to work with. Not bad, right? So once I got confirmation of this thing breaking below the EMA, I stepped on the gas. Remember, I don't just trade with $5,000. I trade with over half a million dollars. And I stepped on the gas to say the least. So you guys can see that it aggressively uh, began to sell off. It went back to retest. I covered part of my position. It went back to retest. The moving average got rejected. I reopened short, went back to the same previous resistance, and then I covered short from start to finish, right? I told them when I was adding more to my short, uh, and that's when I added another 750 shares short here. And then moments like this remind me that all you need to do is wait for one single trade throughout the day. Closing short, closing short, closed short. And then I talked to them about, again, where I intended to open the short, where I took profits, and then my overall short leading to that $19,500 gain. And as you can see, $19,498.18 after Weeble's fees. Again, the, the beautiful thing about this is, I, I know the, the dollar amount obviously is a huge highlight. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is that if you can scale, starting small first, but if you can build your edge, when you can identify trade opportunities, you can set up your trade plan, your risk to reward ratios make sense to you, right? The odds are in your favor that even if you fail two or three times, overall, the, the odds are in your favor. And, and that is what we try to focus on, quality over quantity trades. And that's what I waited for here. We waited all day for that stock to become overbought. We waited for that proper confirmation. I shared with them my trade plan and then I executed appropriately, right? Because anyone can share a plan, but if they don't trade accordingly and execute accordingly with proper entries, proper position sizing and proper take profits, uh, then what's the whole point of having a plan of action if you don't follow through with it, right? 
The beautiful thing about trading is that you can start small, you can build experience, you know, and tweak it according to what you uh, see works for you and what doesn't. And then you scale once it's actually a good working system. But again, uh, if you've ever asked the question, what is it like to be able to watch me trade live? What is it like to get access to these updates? This is in a sense in a perfect picture world of what it would look like when I take a successful trade. There's obviously during my live trading sessions, again, they also get access to that where they get to see me enter and exit my trades live. So if it's within the first 30 minutes to first hour and a half, they get to see it all happen live. They get to see my good trades, my bad trades. So the same thing that you saw within, you know, that kind of like text format, but now imagine just me being able to, uh, take the trades, sell the trades, share my thought process live in real time. And that's essentially what the LPP team gets to experience every single day. We don't tell other people what to do. I'm never going to tell you, hey, you need to buy here. Hey, you need to sell here. If you're looking for that kind of handholding, I just am not gonna be your guy. I, I, I wanna be straight up with you. But if you are someone that is truly trying to understand you know, how to focus on quality trades, building proper trade plans and executing, then I would love to work with you on a closer basis and on a daily basis because that's what I do every single day, even with my crippled hand. So again, I'd love to invite you to my live trading session as soon as Monday. I do it every single day and right now it's 50% off. It's the second link in the description down below. So whenever you feel ready, second link in the description, you can sign up right now and then watch me trade live as soon as Monday. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and we'll love to answer them for you. Feel free to share this video with someone that you think can benefit from it. I hope that earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and like always, Let's make sure that we end the year on green out. Take care, team.